Hi. I'm Jerry McGuire. Oh, hello. You're just the way I pictured you. I'm her disapproving sister, Laurel. Honesty. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Dorothy! Dorothy! Your boss is here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Sure. Hey, you. Hi, hi, God, thanks for inviting me over. Sure. Where's, uh, where's the little guy? He's sleeping. Oh, yeah, sleeping. I'm so glad you're home. You know, I just, that uh, loan thing, it's not my uh, specialty. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, oh, my God. Uh... Well, I broke up with Avery, you <laughs> know. Gosh, you know, that's too bad. No, it's, it's better because we're still going to be friends, and, you know, it's better now than later. Sure, sure. You know, I mean, I'm... I'm dying here, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, it's a really bad cut. Yeah, well, just think if I got her the ring she really wanted. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you have a seat? I'll, uh... I'll get some aloe vera for that cut. Do you have something to drink? Sure. I heard. No kidding. I looked over and saw the shadow of two curious shoes in the doorway at the kitchen. Dorothy, this guy would go home with a gardening tool right now if it showed interest. Don't use those. Use the frosted glass. Thank you. You're welcome. I warmed up some of their chicken with salt. Oh, that's the girl I love. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna say this. You have always been very responsible with Ray, and I think it's right for him to wake up and hear some strange man's voice in the house. Some drunken stuff. Oh, as opposed to ten angry women? Whoa! Oh! Lean forward. Okay, oh. I've got it. Oh. Still edible? Change your shirt. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Ray. Aren't, uh, you supposed to be in bed? Yeah. Yeah. I won't tell. The human head weighs eight pounds. Jerry Maguire? I think it's this one. You should be dreaming about me, baby. I should be on your mind constantly. My agent should be thinking Rod Titwell. That's when the big dollars are gonna flow. That's when we truly will materialize the quam. Who is it? Who is this? You are speaking to the Rod Titwell. I need to speak with my agent. I need <laughs> to be my agent. My agent and I should be one. Are you a football player? Am I a football player? <laughs> I'm a school teacher about to whomp your ass. Put Jerry Maguire on the phone. I'm not say anything else, just one more thing. If you don't have the luxury of falling for some drowning man, be practical. Practical? All right, which top? High turtleneck sensible or low v-neck sexy? Turtleneck, turtleneck, come on. Don't tell me to be practical. Do you know what other women my age are doing right now? They're out partying in clubs and they're trying to, to get a man, trying to keep a man. Not me, Laurel. I'm trying to raise a man. This one. I've got a 24-hour-a-day reminder of Roger for the rest of my life. I've had three lovers in four years. Not bad. And all of them ran a distant second to a good book and a warm bath. Look at me, Laurel. I'm the oldest 26-year-old in the world. Now, how do I look? Good. Yeah? Thanks. 72% of new buyers are African-American. I am African-American. Make the connection. You talk too much. No, no, no. Talking is only a primitive form of communication. It's fun talking to you. Bye, Ron. Je Jerry! I'll make a sandwich. Good idea. You have a sandwich? I just want to say one thing. You do listen to me. Well, I love you. Mayo? Yeah. Oppression as a, it's a matter of religion. My daddy worked for United Way for 38 years. You know what he said when he retired? He said, I wish they'd given me a more 
comfortable chair. Wait, wait, wait. Eight years, he said. And then my dad died. My mom took me to the zoo, and I loved the zoo. Do it. It's a zoo where you love. No, wait, wait, because I, I want to tell you more about my dad. When... No, let's go to the zoo. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm nodding that you're right. <laughs> but I don't know, it's just my whole life I've been trying to talk. I mean, really talk. But no one wants to listen to me. You know that feeling? You... Just look at you. They just. Let's really... go right now. Let's go to the zoo. Ray, the zoo. You know, the zoo's closed, right? <laughs> yeah, I did. I. Um... Is that? I won't tell. Well, then I'm gonna have to take you to the zoo. I gotta go to bed. My mom's coming in. Oh, wait. I'm good. Uh, I hear my mom. I gotta go to bed. Hey, thanks for listening. Sure. Okay. Drinks, food, and I called you a cab. Good idea. Oh, and we should get my voices down. Have a little boy sleep. Right. Our company. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look, a uh, little, uh, little speech before I go. Do not worry about your future. You and your son. We are just fine. You still have a job. But let me tell you something about Jerry Maguire, okay? You come after me, and you will lose. No, because I am a survivor. I'm a survivor. Dorothy Boyd, you are with the Lord of the living room, the, the king of the kingdom, and I am drunk. Truth? Sure. I care about the job, of course. But mostly, I just want to be inspired. Me too. What you wrote inspired me. No, no, no. No, hey, I'm working with you because of that memo. I love that memo. Mission statement. Well. <laughs> Sorry about the hand. Huh? You know that feeling, uh, you're not completely embarrassed yet, but you glimpse tomorrow's embarrassment? Don't worry about it. Boss. You said boss. Yeah, I did. Now I feel like Clarence Thomas. Oh, no, no. Don't feel like Clarence Thomas. No, no, I do. I feel like Clarence Thomas. I'm, like, harassing you right now. Well, I may not sue. <laughs> Don't worry, okay? I mean, don't... We're gonna be okay, because I am gonna take 
my one client. And we are going to go all the way. Because, hey, I'm back. <laughs>